Now, a new academic year is upon us and tens of thousands of new university students from across the East Midlands are preparing for their first experience of living away from home. But COVID means the social side of student life will be very different. Nick Smith has been finding out what Freshers' Week might look like in a world where we're trying to keep coronavirus infection rates under control. In years gone by, Freshers' Week was a time when a young person physically meets and interacts with hundreds of new people as they embark on their journey as a university student. But in 2020, freshers' fairs like this one from last year are currently out of the question. So students' unions up and down the region, like at the University of Leicester, are busy devising how they can make the most out of virtual and socially distant events. We've made some very well needed um, investment into digital accessibility within the student union website, which means that we're able to provide um, a virtual reality themed freshers um, event. All of our society events and fairs will be online. Um, we've got workshops around budgeting, cooking and well-being and just making sure that all of our face to face support now has an online platform. Covid infections are on the rise and the majority of students fall into the age bracket of those currently most likely to be spreading the disease the 18 to 34s. So strict measures are in place to discourage physical contact on campus. Freshers Week, of course, will have a very different feel about it this year. The famed boozy club nights at the Union Bar are out and taking their place are virtual or outdoor socially distant events. But of course, the onus will be on students themselves to take a level of personal responsibility to prevent any COVID outbreaks on campus. For many students, sports clubs and societies are deemed to be as important to the university experience as their degree courses. This student women's rugby team has already begun training ahead of the new term. While organising social events is tricky, they will try to find ways of welcoming new recruits. Obviously if we were to go out, we have to go out in smaller groups, but we can all kind of still socialise with each other and see each other, which is good. And outside as well, if we want to training, we can still all train together and stuff. It will be a bit different, but obviously we have like Zoom now, everyone's into Zoom, we can have Zoom socials and stuff like that and obviously social distancing environments we can be in and hopefully the university will provide some support with that because the social side is a massive side of it. Research also shows that students are at a higher risk of developing mental health issues and restrictions on social interaction has the potential to be very isolating. So the National Union of Students is urging universities to ensure extra support is in place. We are highly concerned about the ways that this is going to compound with the existing student mental health crisis uh, and how this is going to potentially, uh, with, with isolation and other forms of kind of quarantine and things, are going to adversely impact students' mental health. We need to be seeing increased uh, access to remote services, to digital services, over the phone services, um, as well as kind of potential provision in person where that is absolutely safe to do so. Starting life at a new university in a new city can be both exciting and daunting in equal measure. And even though this is no ordinary year, students are still urged to get the most out of the experience, even if it means keeping their distance from others. Nick Smith, ITV News.